Hey guys! <laughs> oh my gosh! Hey guys, it's Katie and Mom. She's sitting over there. Hey! <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> we just got done the kissing booth. It is Friday, July 24th at 10 17 at night. And we just got finished the kissing booth to my guys, gals, pals, everybody in the nation. Everybody. That was incredible. That was so freaking good. I made notes. I made notes. So let's let's go through my notes. Well, that's why people won't watch this. If you, if you, don't, if you don't want to be spoiling it, stop watching now. All I have to say to you is go watch it and then come back. And then we'll chat. So let's go. Okay, so guys. Oh my god. Okay, so disclaimer. I if you guys watched me reacting to the trailer, you would know I was a little skeptical. I don't know, the trailer just gave me vibes that I wasn't really gonna link it. Sorry. But it did give me those vibes. I was like, mm. But I absolutely freaking love that movie. It blew the first one out of the water, right, mom? Yes. Yes. It was so freaking good. Oh my gosh, the casting, my guys. Oh my goodness, oh my gosh. I'm sorry, if you hate high energy, please don't watch this video because uh, your girl is freaking on cloud nine on a happy high, like I am losing my mind because that was so good. Okay, the first thing I wrote was so, <laughs> so freaking good. Okay, amazing. Love the old cast is back. So I absolutely loved that they used literally almost the entire cast from the first movie. Like only a couple people were like replaced and whatever, but like it was mainly like the same people. Like I freaking freaking love that. Like I really freaking love that. Because dude, like so many times I've watched movies where like they like I just think that's so cool. Like people that really didn't have like, you know, that much of a big part in the first movie, they still brought that actor back. Like it made me so happy because it was like it was like nostalgia. Like it was like the coolest thing ever of like because if you guys know me i was obsessed with the first movie it was my world i like it was my junior year it came out i literally did all my projects based off this movie this movie was my freaking everything okay and so like you know it's so cool when you're you're everything like you know you watch it and you know you fall in love with all these characters and they all come back like that's so cool that all these people just came back and you know they all look a little older now and it's just it's so cute okay uh, so I, I love that. I really love that they brought all the old cast back. Um, I definitely 100% think it was better than the first. And y'all, I freaking love the first movie. It was my obsession. It was my favorite movie at the time. I would tell everybody it was my favorite freaking movie. I would tell everyone they had to watch it. Like, it would be no brainer for me to be like, The Kissing Booth The Kissing is my favorite movie. Um, I will say one disclaimer is I... <laughs> I kind of watched it too much and like you know with the obsessions they fade and they slowly don't become your obsession anymore so um yeah and every time I watched it I like realized how cringy some of it was and like I don't know I just watched it too many times so now I can't really watch like I don't know yeah and also I really I can't tolerate watching the scenes when Lee was a butt munch in the first movie and he couldn't just forgive Elle I really can't watch those scenes anymore so yeah and it's like oh it's just yeah and the prom scene was just say no to Noah like oh it hurts anyways so this movie made me so happy I'm not just kidding guys I do this thing like this, like I freak out with my hands. If I'm really enjoying a movie or a TV show, I freak out with my hands. I was doing this and smiling the entire freaking time, just losing it. Mom can attest to that. I was losing my shit, sorry, the entire movie. I was just losing it. I was sitting here losing it the entire movie. And like, I just was in, I was so, what's the word, entranced, uh, sucked in sucked in I think sucked in I was sucked in they had me pulled they had me in the entire movie you know like I was just addicted like I, it was like my crack and I just wanted more like I just wanted more of the entire movie that was everything and I love how they kept it like the same format of like Elle and narrating it and being like we did this we did this we did this like I loved it and I thought it was even better I don't even know how but I felt like it was better every single part of this movie was better um uh Makes me, yeah, so Noah and Elle are so cute together in the beginning of the movie, like, I really love that. And also, I'm just gonna say this once for the kids in the back that need to hear it. 
Um, hello to all the people that were like, oh my god, that's horrible that, uh, wait, I forgot his name in real life. Wait, what's his name in real life? His name's Noah in the movie. I know his name. It's blanking. Uh, Noah, Noah Flynn, who's played, what's, the kissing booth. I'm Googling it. Jacoby Lorney, that's his name. The people that were like, oh my God, I can't believe they're forcing Jacoby Lorney to do this movie. Hi, welcome friends to reality and the world. In the world, we have to work with people that we might not want to work with. And you don't know anything about Jacob and his relationship. Oh, you don't know anything about Joey and his relationship. You have no idea how they, you know, I, you know, we have no idea. They might actually get along swimmingly. We don't know. And even if they don't, unfortunately, in the world, you have to work with people that you might not want to. It's the world. You have to work with people you might not like. You might have dated and now you don't like. I have been in theater for a very long time. And do you know how many times I've watched people like not like each other, but then have to pretend to like each other? It's life. And um, no one forced him. And if he did have a contract, that's just called having a job and doing an acting job. It's life. It's acting. It's what it is. And honestly, he really didn't want to do it. He could have pulled out. People do it. Anyways, so just for all those people that were like, oh my God, how dare they do that to Jacob. I'm sure he got a very nice paycheck and it's his job to act and do that. And also, I just want to say... Joey had to feel the same thing probably, even though she's like the most adorable human, probably it was like just vibing. Um, but I just wanna say, like also kind of annoying me that people only cared about Jacob. I'm like, what about Joey? Like the breakup was apparently mutual that I was told. Uh, I mean like, again, we don't know the relationship. We don't know anything. That's their private life. But again, she like, you know, she would feel the same thing he feels. So just saying. We're gonna move on from that, but I just wanted to say that because that was bugging me. Anyways, back to the happy vibes because that movie gave me happy vibes. We're not gonna kill them by thinking about annoying people. Anyways, so uh, Lee was such a better friend in this movie. Am I right? So true. God, he annoyed me in the second one. Like, I mean, the first, first one. one. The first one, he was the most butt munch friend you could ever have. But in the book, he was fabulous. Um. Uh, uh, shout out to Beth, an incredible author. We wouldn't even have these amazing movies without her. We wouldn't have these amazing books without her. The books, I read the first book, it was incredible. Uh, I'm so excited to own the second one. It's over there on my bookshelf. I'm gonna plan to read that next. I'm so excited and I'm also happy that I watched the first one first because I feel like I would have sat here like critiquing it and being like, oh, it's not like the book. So I'm happy I can now just read the book and be like, oh my God, the book's nothing like, you know, and be like, Oh, this is what they did wrong with them. <laughs> I, so, here's the thing. Hey, hey. Uh, it was an excellent movie. Yes, here's the I thing. When I was reading, yay! When I was reading the f first book, I read it literally a couple months ago. And I just sat there and I was like, oh my god, the movie totally did not care about the book. So it was just, in my opinion, I, I think I'd prefer to do that, where I can dissect a book, instead of watching the movie and be like, wrong, 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 wrong. I don't know, I feel like that's me. Anyways, so I was, I'm happy. I also, I did the, you know, I watched the movie first before the book, so I thought it was fitting to watch the movie first before the second book. I'm not saying that's how it should go, I'm just saying that's what I did with the first book, with the first movie, so it was like only fitting I do it again. I don't know. So, um, da, 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 da. this movie made me so incredibly happy. It was incredible. The entire thing was just absolutely incredible. The cast was amazing. The outfits was amazing. The set, like everything was so amazing about this movie. I loved it. Um, yeah, Lee's a better friend. I loved the running scene when she was on the mic. I was screaming when she was describing Marco. And he was like running like an, he was in the Olympics trying to get her to stop because the entire school could hear her. Oh my gosh. And then, um, yeah, I said I love this one much. I called it from like the beginning that I really liked this one more than the first movie. And we stand Marco. He is so attractive. So attractive. And, um, I know that him and Joey, you're gonna creep. 
just in the background. Yes. <laughs> um, I know him and Joey are f good friends in real life, and I absolutely love that. And truly, I would not mind if they dated in real life. That would make me really happy. Anyways, but that's not my business, and if they don't, that's okay too. Um. Uh. Wait, what did I say? What? I said, see, that's the problem when I make notes with movies. Sometimes I don't actually like write it properly down because I said so grubby. What does that even mean? I don't understand, but whatever. But love the layout of the movie. I did. Oh, hey, you're behind me. <laughs> I really love the layout of the movie. Lee was, again, I literally made another note. Lee was so much better in this movie. He was really great. I mean, obviously the whole girlfriend conflict, that was another thing. But I meant to Joey. I mean, to Elle, he was much better. And he was just like, you know, if you watch the first one, you know, he was a complete butt. He was the most unlikable character in the movie. So it was just so nice seeing him be so much better in this movie. And yes, obviously he wasn't perfect. You know, there's a whole juggling with the girlfriend. Yes, but he was much, much better than the first, okay? Um, my heart was so happy the entire time. This movie was so good. It filled my heart with extreme, utmost, utter joy and happiness and just, it was such a good movie. It was so uplifting and just so fun to watch and just made my happy juices flow. Um, so I definitely, from the trailer, I don't know why, but it just made me like feel like it wasn't going to be good. I don't, it just, it just gave me those vibes. If you guys saw that video, it just gave me those vibes. But I'm so happy to say it totally exceeded my expectations. Like, out, out, in space, in orbit, exceeded my expectations so much better than I expected, so much better than I thought, I loved it, um, oh my god, Chloe annoyed the crap out of me <laughs> for most of the movie. Isn't her fault? I'm sorry, but she annoyed me. You, she annoyed you too, you can't. A little bit. Yes, and also, I don't know, like, she felt like, she, I she feel like she was so legit. old compared to them, I was like, this is oh, awkward. Chloe. Chloe, yeah. The one we didn't like. No. Yeah, she looked totally older than everybody. She did. I'm so sorry. She was a great actress, but it was she just was. so awkward. Her oh, her accent was beautiful. She's a great voice. Um, I feel like I missed Yeah. So yeah, again, I liked being able to just watch the movie and enjoy the movie instead of having read the book first and be like, everything's wrong. Anyways, so yeah, again, this movie was so good. Much better than the first. Uh... I literally made another comment about not liking Chloe. <laughs> the wig, I gotta like talk about the wig. The wig looked so good. It was much better than I expected. I totally didn't think it was gonna look that good. No offense from the photos. She looked so edited. She looked so fake. I'm so sorry, Chloe. But they did you dirty with how fake they made you look. I'm sorry. But like, I was like, oh my God, is the wig gonna look like that? But it looks really good. It actually like, I was con like, I forgot a lot of the time it was a wig. And at the end, she really, it really looked like her hair from the first movie. Um, oh, Lee. Okay, so the whole Lee, like, doing that big thing to show, um, what's her name? Courtney? Lauren? Courtney? No, wait, is her name? No, the girl, the, his Ooh. girlfriend, Lee's girlfriend. Yeah. Is it? I don't know. I don't remember. I I don't think so. I don't know. Jinx. Uh, whatever. Lee's girlfriend. The whole thing he did to like show her that he loves her. Oh, it was so cute. I loved that. Uh, we have a book. Oh my goodness. Stop. We, okay, well, hold on. I'll get through that. I thought we were almost done. Wrap it up, <laughs> Okay, the movie was so funny. And I absolutely loved it. Um... So yeah, Lee being a butt makes it really impossible to watch the first one now, but yeah, we already reviewed that. I've seen it a lot, yeah, it's kind of cringy watching a lot of the moments now, but... And that's what was great about this movie, like, I feel like the first one was much cringier, and this one was more, like, serious, and... Like, that's why I like the book more, because the book was serious, and the book... I felt like the first movie was just very, like, silly willy, and just, I don't know, like, I don't know, I don't know. But this one is definitely so much better, and just... I loved it and less cringy, definitely. Uh, yeah, movie posters were really over edited. Uh, woo! Your, your girl freaking loved this. Okay, so this the two guys having their love story made me so freaking happy. I 
love that because you know they were cares. Yeah, it was. It was so natural, just the chemistry they had and like the way that they could just naturally put it into the plots mm -hmm. where it wasn't like something where, yeah, like it was just something that easily fit into the storyline. I absolutely adored that, especially because, you know, there were two guys in the first movie and, you know, in the first movie that the guy, I forget his name, but he, you know, we got hinted, you know, that he was gay. We knew he was gay. And I love that they were able to just not ignore that they actually made it part of the plot for the second movie they weren't just like here's a tease and that's it they're like bam it's part of the plot second movie what's up and i was like yes bitch yes, yes bitch. we stand and then um so we loved the love story between them the dance scene exquisite so good her and marco's chemistry we stand uh Mark, yeah, Marco for the win! Hey! Okay. okay, so also, it was funny towards, like, whatever part. I predicted so much of what happened, and I was really impressed with myself with Noah and Elle and the dance. Like, I knew he was going to fly in to see her at the comp, at the competition, and I knew she was going to kiss Marco, and I knew he was going to watch, and it was going to break his heart. I knew it. Good thing this is at the end of the video, in case anybody messes up. Uh, they had a warning. They did have a warning. They had a warning. Okay. They had a warning. Okay. Finish up. Yeah. And so them dancing was iconic. I liked how they she was like, Wanna have some fun? And he was like, Yeah, like that was so cute. Yeah, that was pretty cool. And it was iconic. Like the throw. Ah Oh my god. Okay, so I was so invested with this movie the entire time. Like it I didn't fall asleep. Yes! Oh my god, I'm so proud of you. <gasps> that shows things guys that shows everything if my mother openly like watched the entire movie and didn't fall asleep her bedtime's typically like nine o'clock eight o'clock it is 10 34 and she's still up if my mother could be deeply invested into the movie enough to not fall asleep and actually stay awake and she didn't seem like she was falling asleep at all during the movie that's a big thing the last time this happened was with after I'm very, like that, if anyone from the cast of The Kissing Booth is watching this, first off, hi, I love you so much, I'm your biggest fan, hi! <laughs> um, that just shows you have a hit movie that my mother was able to stay awake the entire time. It's so true. It's so true. So yeah, invested the whole movie. I had a big smile on my face the entire freaking movie. And I lost it at the kiss. My face hurts. I screamed. That's what I said. I really did scream. Uh, but it also hurt a lot watching them kiss because I knew Noah oh, was there watching. That watching. broke. That really. And he looked like. He looked so devastated. Proud. He, he was. So oh, proud that. Of her. I told her. I literally told her when we were watching that scene. I'm like, he looks so freaking proud right now. And she's about to break his freaking heart. And he looked so proud the entire time. That's when I knew that he still loved her. Yeah. Watching her. Watching him watch her mm -hmm. do that dance. Yeah. I was like, no, he still loves her. Uh that really hurt i just this pillow suffered so much abuse from me the entire movie i screamed into it i was like the entire freaking part of that movie um thanksgiving i screamed that i did a lot of screaming during towards end like i a lot of emotions a lot of screaming for me <laughs> oh yes that was ooh, thanksgiving was so rough <laughs> Oh my gosh! Uh, but it was also kind of a badass moment when iconic. Elle was like, "Yeah, it was, it was, it was iconic." Well, especially when Elle was like, "I'm going to go fix something that matters." I was like, "Ah!" You didn't do what I thought you'd do. That's oh shoot! I didn't. You're right, because I expected her to go straight, straight to Lee, well, not to face but her. Is I said I face. Go. I meant thingy. Is. What's that girl's name? I don't know. Courtney? I think that's what her actress is. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. The. Yeah, I make really long videos. The Kissing Booth. I'm sorry. You don't watch my videos. Rachel! Her name's Rachel. Rachel. And I would never have gotten that right. Yeah, I know. Courtney is her name in real life. No, her name's Megan in real life. Is on Rachel. Rachel. I don't know how we messed anyway, that up. Anyways, it's on. really irrelevant. Um, I was so stressed out with that, with the Thanksgiving scene, but Elle was very iconic. What I like um, the most about this is usually people, when they were confronted or when she was confronted, they, they, were, telling the, they were telling oh. the truth. Yes! 
Yes, so that's what we said when we were watching the movie. We loved when Elle was like, whenever she was asked a question, she typically, you know, obviously she hid the whole college thing from yeah. Lee, but that was one thing. Uh, she typically told the truth because typically in movies and TV shows, they'll lie, they'll mm -hmm. cover it up, they'll be like, oh, it's it nothing. Just makes it worse. Yes! And then they're like, where is this You know, when it finally, the problem gets put out in the open, they're like, where is this coming from? And it's like, yeah, if you had just said it all along. Yes, and thankfully, are, Elle did say it. Yeah, there are some lying. Like, he's, like, uh, what's his face that he told Elle that got Oh, yeah, married. there was lying, 100%. But, but, but I feel like the relationship aspects with Elle and... Lee. Lee. No. Noah? Elle, and Noah. There was not as much. And she, no. she did a lot of lying in the first movie, so I feel like that shows her character development. She learned a lot from the first movie. And she was straightforward. It, yeah, she was able to be more honest. But she still didn't trust him because all yeah. the circumstantial evidence. Unfortunately. Fair assessments. Yeah, again, I loved how serious this movie was. Uh. The, I loved how the OMG girls helped, like, uh, <laughs> the OMG girls and Elle helped, uh, the, them get back together. Mm -hmm. Rachel and Lee get back together. We, I loved that so much. I thought that was so cute because, okay. especially because they got annoying a lot during this movie. Oh, I loved them and I hated them. No, well, they, they, actually, they always had to implant, like, yes. doubt in Elle's mind of, like, like oh my god, you like that? They had to have some kind of drama. <laughs> okay, fine. Oh, well, Fair they, enough. Why would you even have them if they were doing drama? That's true, beans, true Why beans. Um, Lee's character, again, I had to keep saying how much better Lee's character was during this movie. So much better. Um, yeah, so much, I love, this movie was so much better than the first. I loved it so much more than the first. Uh, and I loved the first one, you know, you know, I really did love it. Um, the kiss was the freaking best between the, the guys. And this support, like, oh my gosh, the, my heart, because his face, when he, when he, when they, when, when they both kissed each other, and then he pulled back, he looked so scared, and to be met with so much support, the entire school just cheering him on, he, like, you know, like, and I even liked how they showed that the girl he left at the stand was happy for him because you know like it was just everyone was happy for him and he was happy because like that's what he struggled with most is people judging him for it and so just the support was just amazing and i feel like it was a much needed scene as you know for the lgbtq community it was a much it was just a great scene and it was just something like i feel like it made me happy it made me feel like oh my gosh like be accepting like you know like it just every the message was loud and clear and amazing of just Ah, oh, it was such a good scene, and I just felt like it was just amazing. And oh my god, I loved it with all my heart. And the kiss was iconic. He just really went in there, and I loved it. And it was just a good kiss, sharp kiss. Okay. How do you feel about the movie? So good. Okay, I'm literally done. Okay, I have like three more points. Just kidding. I have a. It's okay. Okay, I'm I'm done. Okay. Okay, Marco's rejection hurts. I was upset. I know. I that really that. hurt. That hurt so much. I used curse words. It hurt. Um, I wanted him more. Oops. I wanted him more than Noah. Sorry. I went back and forth because I thought Noah was going to be bad. But when I found out he wasn't, then I was like, no, I still like Noah. Marco was okay. But Marco Their knew chemistry what, was better. Marco knew what he was doing. He was playing the fire. <sighs> he did know she had a boyfriend. Mm -hmm. My head hurts. Um, we stand honesty L shows, yep. The outfits, her outfits were so cute. I loved her outfits. Um her and Chloe, like finally like coming together was so cute. That I loved cute. that. We um figured out that Chloe wasn't what we thought. Yeah. I freaking love so I like kinda knew. I was like, oh my god, they're gonna leave it for a third. Especially since someone even said, like, do you guys think, like, I saw someone's Instagram caption today, and they're like, do you think there's going to be a third kissing booth? And I was like, hmm, hmm. And so, now I definitely think there is going to be, because they left it like that with the colleges. And it was funny, because mom called it, she's like, I bet she got into both. Uh, even though she lied and said she got rejected, she got weightless, wasteless, weightless, thank you, I couldn't she say it. Like yeah, and I also do feel like the writers are like, we need to make a third, so we gotta leave it open-ended. Um, 
Uh, my freaking heart, like, uh, the clippers. What did I mean? Oh, the bloopers. I meant to say bloopers, but I, like, what I will do sometimes is I'll type and still be watching, so I end up, some of them I made sure to go back and make sure that I spelled it right, but for that one, I didn't notice that I spelled it wrong. So the bloopers were so cute. I love that they included uh, bonus scenes that they edited it out because for the kissing booth the first movie they did not do that they like waited until this movie to like release all of the bonus content um and the the girls oh my gosh i loved the girls kiss that was so cute of the girl the british girl and the goth girl having their moment that was so cute i'm mad that scene got cut but it was iconic um so yeah the bloopers were so cute i love them you can just tell how well this cast just gets along and acts like a family and that makes my heart so happy and all of it was iconic and as you guys know about me joey king has been my favorite actress since ramona and freaking Jesus. i have wanted to be her she's been my favorite actress i've idolized her it's been my dream to be her so it just made my heart happy she my little joey joey up there on the screen as always and just everything about this movie is iconic the cast the crew everything the, the sets the plots the everything this movie was just such a feel good happy movie yeah i loved it i highly recommend a thousand yes. out of ten so good to the cast and crew and everyone that worked on it congratulations you have an amazing movie you did so great and i absolutely loved it we loved it and phone drop 26 minutes later oh my word no wonder i'm exhausted <laughs> <laughs> the Thank you so line much. Is, it was an amazing movie. Watch it. Go watch well, it. Hopefully you've watched it before you've heard all this. <laughs> That's hey, true. Whatever. And if you're the cast, I love you. If you're anyone yes. that works on the movie, I love you. You did. You have a hit movie. It was amazing, incredible. Five stars, a thousand out of ten. Awesome. Uh, ten stars. Ten stars. Also, well, no, it's usually five out of five stars. Just Okay, and also if you need someone to be on the third movie. Oh yeah, she's up for hire. <laughs> I am. I'm the agent. I work for free. No, no, no. <laughs> we do not work for free. We do. I'm the agent. She I want to meet Joey actress. King, okay? <laughs> okay, okay. thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. Bye. Bye. Go watch Kissing Booth 2. <laughs>